Archie and Lilla better found new friends in the children of their parents' Hollywood acquaintances, a royal author has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made lots of friends in California, among them, Orlando Bloom and Katy Perry, Ellen DeGeneres, Oprah Winfrey and, most recently, Tom Holland and Zendaya. According to Richard Miniards, this means Prince Harry and Meghan have not only found people they can spend quality time with but new celebrity playmates for their two children, too. Mr. Miniards said, they've made a lot of friends here, particularly Orlando and Katie who live nearby on Park Lane. They also have good friendships with Ellen and Oprah who live minutes away so they may well have been going over there and vice versa with the children. Commenting on the wonderful location of the Sussex's Montecito Mansion, which has a pool, tennis court, gym, spa and a guest cottage, the author added, Harry's been out on his bicycle and walking his adopted Labrador on Miramar Beach and she's been out shopping in both the Upper Village and Lower Village and they seem to be very, very happy as far as I can see. When asked whether he believed the rumors the couple were not over the moon with their US home, he said, I don't think those stories are correct. It's an idyllic situation right between the mountains and the ocean. Given all that, the fact that they feel secure and are not under the public spotlight like they would have been when they were living in Beverly Hills, I think they're blissfully happy here. Speaking to the Evening Standard, the author asked, why would you want to move? Aside from enjoying their 7.4 acre property, Harry and Meghan seem to have found the peace and quiet they sought when stepping back from the firm as senior royals in 2020. Since their move to coastal California, their public appearances have been limited, and each in apparent alignment with their values, the Duke to speak about mental health, the Duchess to share her political views. Nevertheless, some of their outings have still managed to shock the royal family and the British public. Meghan's visit at the Ellen DeGeneres show last November, where she advocated for paid family leave, or Harry's admission he experiences burnout at a virtual panel with his company Better Up left no one indifferent. The repercussion of the couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey nearly a year ago has not ended, as the royal made serious allegations against Buckingham Palace. Royal expert Neil Sean suggested the fact every time the pair is seen in public turns into a memorable event could be a thought-through plot. He said, Meghan's PR team or advisors really believe that every time she goes out, it should become an event. And the reason behind that, it's not about vanity as such, it's about selling because as we've just explained every time Meghan does appear, people break down her hair, the makeup that she's wearing, the clothes, all that sort of stuff. Speaking on his YouTube channel, he added, Harry and Meghan can make a lot of money in a very short time, but even they know that celebrity, whoever you are, wanes. The plan is of course that each time she arrives or appears on the scene, the media will be so excited that they will ignite, and more importantly sell, whatever Meghan and Harry are selling. Last month, the Sussexes reportedly reached out to stars Zendaya and Tom Holland, which raised speculation over Harry and Meghan's media projects, and whether they could be interested in arranging a collaboration of some form with the two celebrities. The young actors have gained huge success with Spider-Man, No Way Home, and while it is unknown what their relationship with Harry and Meghan looks like, it would not be surprising if they joined the list of celeb friends the two have made since swapping Britain for America.